everybody, Coach here. Welcome to this week's episode. Many, many months ago, might even have been late last year, we told you about a surprise coming. Surprise coming for the channel, surprise coming for us. And I'm here today to reveal it to you. Finally, nine plus months of searching and deciding we have new digs. We have a new base camp, and this base camp is going to bring you lots and lots of DIY landscape education. Why? Because it needs some, especially up around the house. But this place is affectionately called Brook and Pond, and Brook and Pond is going to be our base camp for the next several years, if not beyond. Why is it called Brook and Pond? Take a listen. We are in the remote state of Maine, up in the northern portion, where they say there is more moose than there are people, which is perfect for Maestro and I. We have come from a very, very busy part of Northern California, and over the past three years and seven months, we have traveled this continent from the Arctic Circle to Baja, California, to the tip of Florida, to everywhere in between. And we have really checked off a lot of our bucket lists. And in that time, we have brought you this channel and all the DIY education that we could possibly muster for you. We have loved it. We have loved the travel and bringing our education to you. Now is our new chapter. Our new chapter is going to be Brook and Pond, where landscape projects are going to come alive right in front of your eyes, and you're going to be able to have input on those landscape projects as far as materials, plants, Soil amending, outdoor living area input, all of that is going to be at your disposal. This is not going to be a huge long video because I don't have a whole lot to show you just yet. So since we've been here a whopping five days now, what have we actually been able to accomplish? Hmm, not much. Being out of the road, you don't have a whole lot of possessions. And so moving in took us about a half hour. The place did come furnished, so we appreciated that. But in turning our attention out of doors, what could we do? It's mid-October 2023 when I'm talking to you now. It's not the time of year for DIYers to get involved in big landscape projects. The winter is looming, much colder temperatures than the 40 degrees we're starting off right now at. And the only thing we really found was a little cleanup. So, I set to task at making sure my pride and home ownership started at the street. And here's what I'm talking about. So it's really my firm belief that pride and home ownership, pride in what you've accomplished, what you've purchased and how you take care of it starts right here, right at the entrance off the road, whether it be from your street into your driveway or from 300 plus feet of driveway that I'm gonna to have to contend with. Behind me, Mother Nature had almost kind of taken back the driveway. If you'll see off to my left and off to my right, you will see a big sweeping straight edge. It was not always that way. I have reacquired almost four and a half feet on this side and two and a half feet on that side of driveway apron to come in from the street off of, whether it be me, me in a dump trailer again, or a contractor bringing in materials, whatever it might be. Now my pride in home ownership is reestablished. And over the course of the next months and years, we'll accentuate the woods around us without making it too gaudy. I still want to capture all of what mother nature has done here without destroying any of it. I mean, I'm surrounded by cedars and birches, maples and spruce, dogwoods and perennials, even lady slipper orchids that'll be up again next year. I don't want to mess with that. We can do some ornamental planting up at the house. Very selective ornamental planting, I might add, because I am surrounded by a population of ungulates. And when I say ungulates, I'm talking about deer and moose and they like nothing more to come in and find something tasty 
literally at your bedroom window if it is something they like to eat. Maestro and I are not going to spend hundreds if not thousands of dollars on landscape plants only to end up being an hors d'oeuvre for some moose coming through for a midnight snack here at Brook and Pond. So you can see I felt like I kind of turned back the hands of time. This is kind of our new weed patch ranch in a way, but not in the same realm. We are up in the very northern part of Maine, the snow zone as they call it. So what do I have to look forward to for the remainder of this fall? Basically, it's just a maintenance thing, kind of preparing for next year. That's what I teach you in the 15 step checklist. That's what I teach you in the book and that's what I obviously go very much in depth in the course. I'm going to be analyzing this place over the course of the next few months, deciding what can work, deciding where the sun is and where the sun is not. What is gonna work there and again, what is not. Then I'm gonna to have to contend with over 12,000 square feet of lawn that is up the hill in front of me. I went out and got a very used ride-on mower and took care of that. So for right now, the lawn is mowed. The driveway has been re-sculpted. A few things here and there around the house, basically preparing for winter. And if winter gets just a little too harsh for this Central Valley, Northern California boy, we can always pack up and head south for a few months, come back in the spring and hit it hard and get some few things done. Our main focus is gonna be outdoor living areas with a few foundation beds, drainage, and maybe a little bit of lighting, but not a lot because some of the lights up here are the Northern lights and we'd really like to enjoy those in a dark area. So if we do come across those, we're gonna share them with you guys. And as always, you guys are gonna have input into this place. I'm gonna ask your advice and I'm gonna ask your opinion on what should be done. We'll take all genuine recommendations seriously. And you trolls out there, you need not apply. In any case, welcome to Brook and Pond. It will be a short-term rental once in a while, especially during snowmobile season. And we will look forward to bringing that angle of home ownership to you as well. We can't be happier. Our brook that we have right at our roadway here turned into a raging torrent recently, thanks to Tropical Storm Philippe the five foot culvert was almost overwhelmed with runoff after almost three inches of rain overnight. We went from a trickle of a pond to a torrent and now we're back to clear waters and much more manageable. And you got that beautiful sound of running water when you have your coffee out on the front patio. Guys, I appreciate your attention. We got a lot of things that we got to get done and we are gonna get to them right now. So join us, join us over the coming weeks, months, and years as we take Brook and Pond from a gravel driveway and boulder strewn landscape to something a little more ornamental, a little prettier to look at, and certainly more functional. I'll catch you guys next week. As always, I am always there on the website for you, and you can email me of any questions or suggestions that you have yoryardcoach at gmail.com. And I invite you to go over and visit our Patreon page. If you look forward to seeing what we do here, you find some value in it, help support the channel. You can find us at Yard Coach on Patreon. We appreciate any support that you might throw our way. Anyway, until next week, bye for now, guys. Take care.